Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Urbane Martinez from Texas A&M. And with us, we've got four kind of interesting looking vehicles that Urbane's going to tell us a little bit about. Urbane, these are um, kind of interesting uh, versions of mobile technology. Uh, what's the point of this project and uh, what are we really looking at? Okay, the point of this project, um, we had a mission statement given to one of our classes in the Electronic Systems and Engineering Technology uh, Department at Texas A&M. Uh, we had to basically find a cheap solution to travel from point A to point B using the NI My Rio technology. And uh, what the class basically did is that we came together and saw what modules that we could use in order to do that. Uh, the two modules that we chose was a GPS module and basically an electronic compass to, to navigate to tell us where we are on the globe and what direction we're facing. And we used what's called the ASEP uh, robot to basically take us from point A to point B. Interesting. Um, can you take us through a little bit of the technology on the robot itself? Sure. Okay. So the robot contains uh, the NMI Rio, of course, uh, and is connected to a two-channel PWM driver. Uh, this PWM driver is actually able to support our uh, support four motors. Uh, we have both positive leads on uh, two motors connected so that uh, it can be input to one channel and then the same on the other side. Uh, it practically drives like a tank. Um, outside of that, it uses uh, Wi-Fi to communicate wirelessly uh, to a laptop and also uh, the setup that we have here to an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, for Urbane, the, uh, the suspension on this is a little bit interesting. It's kind of like a monster, on a, what you might find on a monster truck. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, well aside from wanting to be able to dominate any other robot out here, um, the suspension is actually what's called the articulated suspension. Meaning, if I were to take the leg in the front and push it up, the legs in the back would go down. And so this is basically to simplify the mechanical aspect of it so that uh, if it is going uphill, the entire robot would actually shift in that direction, rather than it just moving forward at the same angle but allowing the wheels to move, causing stress on the, uh, on the joints. Interesting. And um, what's the next step? What are you going to do next with this? So the next step would actually be we could include vision uh, processing on it to actually see where we are. Um, we could add encoders on it to have a more accurate fix of uh, how far we've been traveling. Um, but I believe that the next step would be to increase the range of which we're able to communicate with, uh, such as using a GSM or some longer range Wi-Fi that we have. Cool. So it sounds like a fun project that you're being at. Uh, I'm sure you had fun with it. It was, it was excellent, it was really fun. Great, thanks. Thanks, sir.